Good lad. Alex Healy goes back to Wales with his wedding sorted thanks to a cheque for £8,000. Right, we have eight contestants left to play Fastest Finger First. Nice and quiet, please, audience. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, put these famous partnerships in order. So, well-known couples, combinations, partnerships. Want the one farthest back in time coming towards the present. Here they come. Laurel and Hardy, Gilbert and Sullivan, Torville and Dean, Caesar and Cleopatra. sorts of dramas happening there on the keepers. Let's see what happened. Um, eight contestants left. This is the right order. Uh, fairly obviously, farthest back in time, back in uh, ancient times, Caesar and Cleopatra. Then, coming towards present day, Gilbert and Sullivan, uh, 1870s. Then Laurel and Hardy, sort of 1920s. And most recent, Torval and Dean, uh, from the 1970s. So that's the right order. Now, eight left. Did eight get it right? I think not. Um, most of them, who was fastest? Steve Rushton in 3.68 seconds. <laughs> That's right. Come back. Well, there's still a million people to be there. Okay, good chance, please. Right, here we go again. This is Steve Rushton, a former electronics buyer from Cows on the Isle of Wight. Uh, wife Sue's up there in the audience. They have two kids, daughter Catherine and a son Andy. Now, he's a possible phone-a-friend. Hasn't been a great night for family phone-a-friends. But even as we speak, he's anxiously awaiting a possible call over in Switzerland. Steve here took early retirement last year and is here tonight in the hope of topping up his pension fund so he can stay at home, carrying on enjoying himself, not doing a fat lot for a whole lot longer. Right, Steve, let's try and help you. 15 questions, three new lifelines, one million pounds. Let's play. Who <coughs> wants to be a millionaire? Question number one for 100 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these means to force someone to do something by using threats or manipulation? Blackmail. Green facts. Red letter. Blue post. Uh, that'll be blackmail. For you have one hundred pounds. You fought in away from a million. This is question number two. A group of soldiers who ceremonially greet an important visitor is known as a guard of what? Respect, faith, pride, honour. Honour. You have two hundred pounds. <laughs> Question number three. Here it comes. How many bags full of wool does Bar Bar Black Sheep have in the popular nursery rhyme? Three, four, five, six. That'll be three, Chris. It's the right answer. You have 300 pounds. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Right, question number four is for 500 quid. To which member of the family does the word fraternal refer? Fraternal. Father. Mother. Sister, brother. Oh, I'm not sure, Chris. Let's ask the audience, please. Okay. That's exactly what lifelines are there for. Mm -hmm. Try and steer you through to at least a thousand pounds. Right. Audience, <coughs> on your keypads, please. Uh, this is the question To which member of the family does the word fraternal refer? Father, mother, sister, brother. All vote now. Sixty-seven percent are saying brother. Uh, only twenty-one percent say father. Seven percent mother. Five percent sister. Brother. Sure. Yes. It's the right answer. You have five hundred pounds. Uh, question number five will guarantee you one thousand pounds. You have a fifty-fifty. You can phone a friend. Here it comes. Tag is a popular form of which sport? Darts. Billions. Cricket. Wrestling. Wrestling. Chris. You have £1,000. <laughs> That's good. You, you've taken early retirement. Yes. But you're sort of deliberating about whether or not to actually go back and do a bit more. Well, I had to take early retirement earlier than I anticipated, and therefore 
whether I can. Oh, so say it wasn't. It. it wasn't a choice because you had so much money choice. in the bank. No, no, it wasn't a lot of choice. Yeah. No. So, so you were sort of forced retirement. Yeah. Well. Are you enjoying it though? Oh yes, I've enjoyed the time I've had at home so far. And, uh, right, you have a thousand pounds. You still have two lifelines intact. Question number six is for two thousand pounds. Here it comes. In two thousand and three, Kate Winslet married which British film director? Shane Meadows, Christopher Nolan. Sam Mendes, Michael Winterbottom. Sam Mendes, Chris. Sure? Yes. Final answer. Yes. So, right answer, you have £2,000. <laughs> Question number seven is worth 4000 Here it comes. Which brutal European prince is thought to have been the inspiration for the fictional Dracula? Vlad the Impaler, Sven the Conqueror, Ulrich the Great, Lars the Terrible. It's worth £4,000. Vlad the Impaler. Sean? Sure. Yes. Final answer? Yes. Absolutely right, you've got £4,000. <laughs> I can't tell you why Susan up there thought the answer was Lars the Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great name, isn't it? How bad was he? How dreadful was he? Right, you have £4,000. Uh, you still have two lifelines. <laughs> Question number eight is for 8000 Which pop singer starred in the 1960 film Expresso Bongo? Adam Faith, Billy Fury, Cliff Richard, Elvis Presley. Really not sure, Chris. I'll go 50-50, please. OK, see if it helps. Uh, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Steve the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Billy Fury, Cliff Richard. Pop singer starred on the 1960 film Espresso Bongo. What are you thinking? I'm really not sure. Um, trying, just trying to recall some of the Cliff Richard films that were I can't recall Billy Fury doing a film. You want to play? It's your call. Yep, we'll go Cliff Richard C. Final answer? Yes. Just the right answer, you have £8,000. <laughs> Right, you have 8,000, you still have a phone a friend, which may or may not be Andy out in Switzerland, selling books. Um, <laughs> question number nine is worth £16,000. You can double your money here, but you could lose £7,000. It's been £8,000 sort of night tonight. See if you can go a bit further. It's worth £16,000, you have a phone a friend. Here it comes. Cairns is a port in which Australian state? Western Australia, New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland. I think that's Queensland, Chris. You say Queensland. You think? Queensland. Final I'll answer? Go, yes, I'll go Queensland. Why did you think that? You've been to Australia? No. I just believe it's in the, the north of uh, Australia. Could possibly be on the northern side of Western Australia, but I think it's Queensland. It's the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> You still have one lifeline, and you are one away from £32,000. You have 16000 at this moment. Question number 10 is worth double that, and it would guarantee you going home with a cheque for at least £32,000. Back to cows in the Isle of Wight. Here it comes, question number 10 of a possible 15. Used in cooking, agar is a thickening agent derived from what? Wheat, seaweed, fungus, cactus. don't know the answer, so, um... Anything ring a bell at all? I believe it's either wheat or seaweed. Um, I've never heard of anything coming from cactus to, for thickening. Food, uh, fungus, I don't believe it is either. 
there are obviously thickening agents from wheat, but I've no idea about seaweed, I'm afraid. Um, so it's wheat or seaweed in my mind. Um, no, I don't know, Chris. Let's um, yeah, who would know? See if anybody might be able to help us. Um, Probably not your son. A bookseller may not help. Probably not. Um, <clears throat> Using cooking, agar is a thickening agent derived from what? Wheat, seaweed, fungus, cactus. I'll, uh, I'll call Reg. 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 Okay, let's call Reg. Yeah. Where's Reg? Isle of Wight? He's on the Isle of Wight, yes. Okay, we'll call him. Um, <coughs> do you want me to tell him it's worth £32,000? Yes, you can do. Okay, yeah. I'll focus him. Good evening. Reg? Yes. Hi, Edge. Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? All right. How are things on the Isle of Wight? It's probably very nice this time of year. Not too bad at all, thank you. Well, now, um, I've got Steve here, which is obviously why we called you. Uh-huh. Because uh, you're one of his chosen phone and friends. Yep. Uh, he's doing fine, actually. He's stuck on a particular question, but he's doing rather well. OK. Uh, this question is worth, or this answer, hopefully, is worth £32,000. Uh-huh. OK? Yep. Quite a lot of money. Sure is. Yeah, OK, right, Reg, you sound very calm. Uh -huh. Next question will be Steve, so tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of these is worth 32,000. All right, mate. Yep. Steve, lots of luck. Your time starts. Thank you. Reg, yep. used in cooking, yeah. agar, A-G-A-R, yeah. is a thickening agent derived from what? Seaweed. Wheat, seaweed, fungus seaweed. or cactus? Seaweed. Yep. Great. Thank you, Reg. OK. <laughs> Cheers, then. Cheers. <laughs> That was good. Well, <laughs> well he's very quick. Good. He's either a very, very nice man or he's mad. He's, <laughs> he's a very nice man. <laughs> he's a very, very nice, nice man. <laughs> very, very nice man. Um, you want to play? I'll take his advice. I'll go, with, I'll, go with probably weed, I'll go with seaweed. I'll go with seaweed. I'd love to. Yes. On Reggie's say so. On Reggie's say so. You've just won £32,000! <laughs> Have a look at this. this is question number 11. It is worth £64,000. You have no lifelines, but you might as well play it. Here it comes. What is added to gin or vodka to make a classic gimlet cocktail? Lime juice, champagne, ginger ale, bitters. Drink a lot? Not a lot, but I drink a few. Have a few drinks, yes. Um, Sue so drink a lot? Uh, not unless she's under pressure. <laughs> Just being nosy, really. Yeah, £32,000 guaranteed, yeah. but you might as well play this. <clears throat> worth 64000 Take as long as you need. What is added to gin or vodka to make a classic gimlet cocktail? Lime juice, champagne, ginger ale, bitters. Right. Well, I'm really not sure about this one, Chris. But I think it's bitters. I'm going to go with bitters. Why? Uh, because bitters is... I have... I know you add bitters to drinks, um, as you do lime juice, obviously, but I don't think it's ginger ale or champagne. Lime juice or bitters are the two that I'm considering, and bitters is the one I think I'm going to go for. <laughs> I Top can't few. really explain it any better than that. But bitters... Final answer. Final answer, Chris, thank you. I'll tell you why Sue up there thinks the answer is champagne. You had £32,000. You still have £32,000. I'm sorry, the answer is lime juice. And when you were juggling the two, yeah, you went for the wrong yeah, one. Well, but have a look. That's what you go home with. Not a bad night. terrific. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Enjoy it. Give him a big hand. Thanks Steve goes back to the Isle of Wight with £32,000. We'll play.